Welcome to the Matt O'Grady Coaching Podcast. This is where Matt shares all his ideas on how to be happier, more successful, and enjoy life to the fullest. Please go to mattogradycoaching.com and the livinggratitudebook.com to learn more and receive your free micro coaching session with Matt. Hello and welcome back to the Matt O'Grady Coaching Podcast. This is Matt O'Grady. I am your host. You can find out more information at mattogradycoaching.com. Well, today we're going to talk about this amazing Abraham quote, uh, but I just went through a move and it was a great move. It was a positive move, but it was still change. I love my new house. I love my new community. My whole family loves it. Everything's going great. But the fact that it was change, even though it's positive change, something we're happy about, change itself can be stressful to our lives, to our bodies, to our minds, to our hearts. And so we have to figure out ways to manage that. And uh, this quote was such a great reminder for me that Abraham shared. Here it is. I have complete control over my thoughts. You can find yourself in an endless loop where you explain that you feel negative because of the negative behavior of someone else. But if instead you take control of your own emotions and you think an improved thought because it feels better to do so, you will discover that no matter how the negative trend got started, you can turn it around. You have no real control of what anyone else is doing with their vibration or with their actions for that matter. But you have complete control over your own thoughts, vibrations, emotions, and point of attraction. That is so deep and so powerful to remember on a regular basis. I have complete control over my own thoughts. Just say that over to yourself one more time. I have complete control over my own thoughts. It's like just completely arresting, right? If you just stop and remind yourself that on a regular basis, your life is going to be better. I'm serious. Like just the energy of that idea that you have control over your own thoughts. You don't have control over anyone else, but you have control over your own thoughts, which leads you to control of your own emotions, which leads you to control over your own vibration, which leads you to control of your point of attraction. So good because with this positive change in my life, It's brought a lot of newness because I was in Huntington, New York, and now I live in Kings Park, New York, only 20 minutes difference, but it feels like a completely different universe. My life has already changed in just a few weeks, radically different. I do different things with different people. I see different people. Everything looks different. House looks different. Bedroom looks different. Office looks different. Backyard looks different. Front yard. Neighbors are different. Everything is different. My driveway is different. My restaurants are different. (laughs) I mean, I could drive 20 minutes, but I'm not going to want to. So it's just kind of a fascinating thing to remember, even when going through positive change, that you have control over your own thoughts. And of course, if you're going through negative change, guess what? You're going to want to get positive real quick. You are going to want to remember that you have control over your own thoughts and start bringing yourself back start reminding yourself of this truth and start compassionately self-disciplining so that you kind of stay in the vortex of where you want to be living, right? You want to start thinking a better feeling thought. That's all it takes, right? Just a slightly better feeling thought. 
So if you start thinking, oh man, this is hard, right? Well, you just, just add in the idea, but it could be easier by the end of today. You know, it doesn't have to be like, oh, it's going to be completely solved immediately, right? Because that's, that's a quantum leap vibrationally. It's really difficult sometimes to do that. However, if you just start small, like maybe there's a chance it'll feel better later. You know, you don't even have to be so specific. Just start to gently massage your vibration to a different point of attraction, a better point of attraction, a better feeling thought. It doesn't have to be everything's the best and I have $10 million and I'm perfectly healthy and I have the best partner and I have the best house and I'm making 10 million a year. And You know, it doesn't have to be all of that, right? Just slightly start to shift it, especially if you're stuck, especially if you've had a few days of rough stuff going on. You got to really hit pause on everything. Go take some quality, quiet time for yourself and start to shift this. Just talk yourself through it. You can use this recording. Just listen to it over and over again until you start choosing some better feeling thoughts. It doesn't have to be radical. It can just be slightly better. Just start opening up to the idea of things getting better. Every day, in every way, my life is getting better and better. That's an old Tony Robbins. And I just pull it out every once in a while. I've been saying it since the 90s when I first got introduced to Tony's work. Every day, in every way, I'm feeling better and better. You know, you just start to find really simple, easy ways. Look up some affirmations. Look up some inspirational quotes. I mean, my God, I've got 500 podcasts on here all talking completely for free on how to shift your vibration, advance your life, access higher vibrations, connect with your higher self, kind of live in this higher place so we get higher thoughts, higher emotions, higher, 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 right? So yeah, take this and remember you have complete control over your own thoughts. Just meditate on that. Repeat that, have that be your mantra and then apply it, right? Once you get the momentum going, start shifting any negative thoughts you're having and see what happens. See how it works because it is powerful. Thanks for listening. MeadowGradyCoaching.com